Hi everyone, Trey here with Student of Belief. We're now kicked off with season two. Yes, season two has officially kicked off with this video right here. And we're going to go ahead and kick it off with some footage from TPE. Yes, TPE 22, also known as Tobacco Plus Expo, which is held in Las Vegas, Nevada will be our very first set of videos that we're going to be displaying. So we have, I wanna say roughly about eight people that I was able to sit down with and we got some really, really good insight into the different companies and organizations. Now, little disclaimer, <laughs> because it was a party. Uh, Drew Estate put on a phenomenal event um, in Las Vegas from beginning to end, a high energy. Um, so hopefully the background noise won't be too distracting, but I believe with a lot of the people that I did sit down with, we will be doing follow-up interviews with. So on that note, the very first interview is with Cigar Oasis, coming up right now. Hello everyone, my name is Trey with Student of the Leaf, and today I'm sitting here with Dan, and he's with Cigar Oasis. Now, if you haven't heard of Cigar Oasis, I'm pretty sure you have. Um, would you like to talk about Cigar Oasis? Yeah, we, um, we've we been around since, uh, we were founded in 1997. We had our first trade show in 1998. Um, we made uh, variations of this model, which is our XL, started out, and uh, now we're on the 3.0 series was introduced in 2018. I joined up in 2019 after an eight and a half year stretch at Apple and uh, we've been rolling ever since. So. Nice. And this cigar oasis, you said is, which model is this? The, it's the XL. It's the most versatile unit we have. It's a desktop humidor model. Uh, 100 to 300 count cigar capacity humidors. Works really well for the uh, wine and doors, climate control. Things like that. Okay. I, I actually got a wine adore for Christmas, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before. Mm -hmm. It's a 300 count um, odd new. Yeah. Not promoting them on here right now. Yeah. Um, but I think that I would probably benefit from getting something like this inside yeah. because right now what I'm utilizing is a Bovina Pax. Uh, this will put out a consistent humidity. Yes. Is that correct? Yeah. So it's a direct power for you. There's a ribbon cable. For all units, there's a ribbon cable that comes out of the side and then it connects to a USB power adapter. Okay. So with the ribbon cable, it allows for pass-through of most humidor lids without without uh, degrading the sealant temperature, was the word I was looking for. It was a long night last night. So, um, so they, wor they work with the wine doors, they work with the desktop humidors. I have cigar reps that have used them for uh, igloo coolers that they keep samplers in. So the, the unit itself is a sealed system. It regulates the humidity with the sensor. This is only what it needs to pulls air in from the top vent here okay. and then expels it out the side. Okay. Now, when you're utilizing a cigar oasis, do you need to utilize like distilled water? Distilled or? water only. It goes into the cartridge. I'll separate these so you can see what that looks like. Hmm. Okay. So you just pour yeah. it into here? Okay. And so, now does it give like any sort of alarm or alert when it No alarm. Low? There is a visual indicator. It's a... Um, a water droplet with like a no smoking symbol around it, okay. no symbol, and a exclamation point inside of a triangle, an alert icon. That'll display when the unit is unable to reach within 6% of its set point for a period of three hours or longer. Okay. Or if the fan is running consistent, it'll trip that alarm to say, hey, the fan continuously is running, you might need to refill it or replace the cartridge, which is recommended once every 10 to 12 months. Okay, okay. So you do need to replace the cartridge within, okay, about 10 to 12 months. Typically, I know that you guys have to do like market research or whatever, uh, testing. Do these ever, like, how long are they warranted or how long will they We last? give a standard one year warranty on anything. Okay. Even if you have an issue that's a little bit past the one year warranty, we'll work with you on that. Um, they do run on software, so at one point there was a batch of software that we knew created some problems and we were working to fix it. Um, even if the unit was beyond warranty, because that was a software issue, we made the exception to warranty. So we do take care of our products, we take care of our customers, we appreciate the loyalty, we appreciate the support, and we do the right thing when we can. So, I mean, that's very indicative to a really good company is when the really work with the customers yes. to find a solution, you know. Yes. I mean, some things are out of, you know, 
the right. company's control. Right. But when you identify that it's a manufacturing defect or whatever, yeah. yes, I like that. I like that. Um, now, how long has Cigar Oasis been in existence? 25 years this year. Yeah, tried right and true. <laughs> yeah. Now, I was a customer. I got a 1,000-count uh, wood cabinet back in 2015 or 2016. And I shopped around because I was in the same situation. Bulbita Packs, which I love those guys. Yes. I use their stuff in some of my small humidors. Yeah. And uh, when I was shopping around, one of the shops that I frequent said, oh, you should get the cigar And I got it and I put it into my humidor. And it was running for two years. I didn't know I had to change the car trip until I started working at home. So now we try to work that into a lot of things when we say, talk yes. about the units, we want to remind people that they do need to be replaced. But um, after joining the company, and getting into the industry, going from consumer for all this time to now being in the industry, I realized that I needed to expand my collection. So I now have five new doors in my house. Oh, wow. Uh, two, two of the thousand capacity, ca I call them the twins because they're sitting right next to each other. They're the exact same ones. Uh, so one of, the, one of the other things I do, you know, if, if you do run into trouble with the product because it is electronic and everything's got their, their weird um, temperaments, we'll yes. call them. And uh, every once in a while, the, the humidor, the, the capacity, the, the regulation of temperature, the ambient the atmosphere, the weather, everything affects a humidor. And uh, I think that's really important to be the customer of the product first mm -hmm. before you're the actual representative of the product. Yes. So to have that experience on both sides, uh, I really like that about what I do. So I don't know if I asked you the reasoning behind having to change the cartridge like every year. But what, what, what is the reason? So the, the cartridge is a, a surgical foam material that we use now. We used to use a green floral foam for the longest time. In 2018, we switched it out for the white for a cleaner aesthetic. Holds the same amount of water, but what we do is we treat it with an antifungal agent that prevents mold and bacteria from growing. So with any sponge, the more you use it, the less absorbent it becomes. The more you fill the cartridge, that film will wash off. Makes sense. So if you're not replacing it within that 10 to 12 time frame, you might be able to get a few months beyond it, but the longer you stretch, the less you'll be able to maintain humidity, and that coating which protects your cigars will be wiped away from the floor. So um, now, when it comes down to cigar oasis, is it only the units that you deal with, or do you have anything else, any other products? We make uh, four electronic humidifiers, uh, ranging from a desktop 50 count to 150 count humidor, all the way up to your big cabinets, 10 to 60 cubic feet, six foot tall armoire, 48 inches wide, 24 deep. Those are usually right in the middle range. Um, a lot of shops use our product for their uh, their cabinet selections. We have a line of hygrometers. We have the Caliber 4, which is uh, one of the original cigar industry hygrometers, calibrated specifically to be accurate within 1% in the range of ideal cigar keeping. Again, long night catch up. <laughs> Um, yes, we're all feeling it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If you went to industry night, yeah. it was epic. I went live. Um, I'm sure you also see it in my story uh, timelines. So. Yeah, and then after industry night, went out to a new lounge that opened up a few months ago, Eight Lounge over at Resorts World. We're going there tonight, actually. Fantastic place, great hospitality, great service. Definitely nice. a place to check out if you're in Vegas. Okay. All right. So, um, so let's talk about the price points. Where yes. We're Talking about the units. The uh, price points on the XL model and our Ultra model, the smaller one before this, um, those are $199 retail. Uh, we have a Plus model, which is the one I was using, I am using in my cabinets. That one is $219, and then the Magna is $299. All right, so it is actually affordable, especially when we're talking about protecting and maintaining the yeah. aging, the things that we love. I mean, you spend money, your hard earned money on this. We try not to really exceed the cost of a single box of cigars, right? And a lot of people say, you know, it's expensive for what it does. Um, and the thing of it is, like you said, you're protecting an investment. So to me, being a customer, again, liking cigars, I buy my cigars, you have friends at companies, but you still support the people that support you. Yes. And um, I look at it, if I'm gonna spend $300 on a box, how much do I have to spend to keep that safe, right? And I'm going to continue to spend two, three hundred dollars on a box of cigars. I live in New York, so we have a hundred and three percent tax on all tobacco. California, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. So you know exactly what's going on. So a cigar that retails at ten dollars for me is already twenty bucks. Exactly before sales tax. So for me, the the price of a unit 
that I make a one-time purchase and then annually for $20 for a cartridge. And I think it's still less than a dollar for a gallon of distilled water, which I have to replace the cartridge. Well, now that I have four, it's not the case. But when I have one, I was replacing the cartridge before I got to plead the bottle. Yeah. So when you look at the overtime cost that it is to maintain, it's a very small number in comparison to the cigar's value as they age and the time you spend. Because that's that's the beautiful thing about a cigar. A cigar is time well spent. Yes. Right? It's your relaxation, it's your meditation, it's your reflecting on things, conversation, meeting new people. Um, so the way I look at it, the most important investment you can make is in your time. So the less time you have to spend trying to figure out how to use your humidor and keep it regulated is the more time you have to enjoy your cigars. Makes sense. Makes sense. So one thing I will say to all the viewers out there, you should really heed what's being said here today. If you're going to spend your hard-earned money, if you're going to want to enjoy your cigars for a long, long time, you should probably invest in something that can help maintain that status okay so um thank you very much for your time i thank know that you're a busy busy person and you have things lined up but i wanted to really thank you for taking time to speak to you no it was a pleasure thank you guys for tuning in so remember keep smoking keep enjoying and keep learning because we're all students students of the leaf all right so I want to thank Dan over there at Cigar Oasis once again for sitting down and taking the time with me and addressing all of the listeners and viewers out there. Thank you so very much. And in that same breath, I know that we're going to be doing a follow-up interview in the very near future. So be on the lookout for that. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead, subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a comment. Um, because I do know that we're going to sit with Cigar Oasis again in the future. If you have any questions that you want me to follow up with Dan or whoever the representative will be, um, please drop it in the comment section and I'll make sure to ask them your specific question. But until that time, thank you for tuning in. Season two is underway now. So remember to keep smoking, keep enjoying, and keep learning because we're all students, students of the leaf.